And now let me welcome on to the field of 68 after dark, the man of the hour, the coach that just etched his name into NCAA tournament lore, the first number 16 seed to win two games in the NCAA tournament. Tobin, how's it feel, man? Feels pretty good, Rob. Feels feels fantastic. So it's, it still hasn't set in yet. You know, we we just played so well and played so so tough, and and I'm really so proud of the guys and what we did. But it's a it's an incredible, it's a monumental win. It's a it's, just, it's a historical win um, for a group of guys who you know they won they won four games last year. But you say you know that winning two games in the NCAA tournament that's something. But it's a team that won four games last year. I mean, that's more of a that story to me is more incredible. I mean, who's come that far? in one year that's just a credit to the guys and and um you know believe believing and having faith how do you how did you get them to buy in like this right like how did you get them to the point where they went out there and I, look they were not scared they brought the fight nope. to purdue nope how, like where is that just the guys you recruit yeah i mean they really gave me crap about the, the locker room speech and it's like you know maybe i shouldn't have said what i said but that's what that's what we believe like never take I, like, that back man that's no, not, look, i i was telling people the other day those players are going to run through a wall for yes. you. After you said that. Yes, and, and like it, it gives us a chance. Uh, you know, it, it makes us more on edge. Like, hey, we're we're not backing down. Like, we're not we're not afraid to to go play somebody. And I'm not sure I need to say because our guys are like that. But I get some belief around our program is like, let's go take on take on um, the challenges and and uh, they're competitive guys and and they played unbelievable tonight. I mean, I, I mean, we were the better team. In all respect to Purdue, I think Purdue's tremendous. I have a tremendous respect for Purdue. We were the better team for the whole game it wasn't like we we didn't like surprise them or come from behind or do something i mean we're the better team they made a couple runs but we hung in there and just played played terrific i know you're a confident guy and i know that you believe in in your style of coaching but it is a 16 seed against the one so when when was the moment when you were like okay this game plan like it's actually working like we're <laughs> we're in this we got a chance we could do this even at halftime like all right it's fine we play we play well for a half at some point they'll make a run and it'll be, we'll be in trouble. But about, about four or five minutes to go, they just looked like they were hesitant on everything. They, they, they weren't they weren't they weren't confident to take threes to handle the ball. You know, Edie was hurting us, but he wasn't he wasn't killing us. And like I said in my press conference, there they um Edie's the same. If they win, he scores twenty five. They lose, he scores twenty five. But the other guys sometimes when they lose don't play well. We did a great job on the guys around Zach Eady. Like the rest of those guys didn't hurt us at all. So um yeah, about about when when Sean Moore hit that three at the top of the key, that's the first time all night I thought we could win. That was the first I don't know how much that was two minutes ago. When that shot went, I'm like, holy, I'm like, we could we could we we might win this game. You know, I'm like I, I hadn't let myself think about that at all, one possession at a time. He made that shot, I'm like wow, this is, we have a shot here, you know, don't screw it up. So you just pull off this incredible upset win, this incredible momentous, memorable win. And now you have to turn around and play again in 48 hours. And we're keeping you right now where you're supposed to be scouting the game. Like, how do you get your guys to kind of turn it around and refocus on the fact like, hey, you know what? You still got to play. Like this job ain't done yet. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest challenge as a coach. And that was a challenge for us uh, after, after the win on, on um on Thursday or yeah it was Thursday, Thursday, Wednesday on Wednesday was we got to get ourselves back together again get ourselves focused and get ready to play a game you know 48 hours later I thought we had a great prep from um from that night to from Thursday and from Wednesday until uh, tonight I have a great staff they're small college guys they're like they're like me and you Rob they're they're, they're G three guys they're grinders they they work they're so good at what they do and um you know we started we started on Purdue um. You know, once the bracket came out, and now we've already started on the other two teams too. So we'll be prepared. And our guys, now you got I me. Mean, our guys are listening to us. They believe in us right now, which is great. They believe in each other. So that's a strong, strong thing to have, especially this time of year. So no, we we'll be we'll be ready to go on Sunday. We'll be a little tired, probably a little worn down, but we'll get ourselves back up ready to go on Sunday. Hey, they're 22 years old, man. You don't get tired of 22 years old. Real quick, I was told that. Uh... That Cam Morrell is the guy that had the scout. Is this his first year as an assistant? Is that correct? He played for me at Stack. No, um, yeah, he played for me at Stack. Did he have the scout? Who had the scout? Yeah, he had the scout, right? Yeah, he had the scout. He played for me at Stack. Him and him and Jack Castleberry both did a great, great job together. But yeah, Cam played was was a George Mason player. Played for for a buddy of mine, Dave Paulson. Came to St. Thomas. Was our captain for two years, two NCAA trips, one Sweet Sixteen, and then I hired him last year. It was the first year at Stack. Came with me this year and. 
He's terrific. I mean, my staff, Jack Castleberry, Cam Morell, and Tom Bonacom, and our support staff, uh, Joe Popovich, Mike Holloway, and Ray Savage are as good as it gets. I mean, they're, they're, all, they're all small college guys. You know, they all, they're no big timers. They're at all the best. We're all bad, which means we're all bad players. We're all we're good coaches. <laughs> and just if we had to go play five on five against most of these uh, staffs, we get drilled because we're all, we're all terrible players, but pretty good coaches. Well, Tobin, listen, congratulations, man. I really am so happy for you. I can't wait to watch your game on Sunday. Come along for the ride. I'll tell you what, my son, he's going to be an FDU fan. We were we were here chanting, watching that game down the stretch. Congratulations. No, go prep. You got a game to get ready for, man. Get out of here. I know, man. I know. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Thanks.